Hi, my name is Vartu Zarukian, and today we're going to make Madzon yogurt. Um, as my grandmother taught me to do it. As a young girl, little girl, I used to work with her in the kitchen, and this is what we did. So what we need is a quart of homogenized milk uh, and uh, two tablespoons. For one quart of homogenized milk, we need two tablespoons of plain yogurt. So we will bring, we will put the milk and we will put it in a pan to bring it to a full boil. We'll put it on a medium heat in a pot and we'll stir it so that it doesn't seize the, uh, underneath. We'll cover it with a lid, but we have to be very careful and watch it constantly because milk will overflow. Okay, so now it's about 10 minutes and it's um, starting to come to a boil. So I'm stirring the milk so that it doesn't overflow and it doesn't form a skin. So we will let it come to a full boil this way. It comes all of a sudden. Sometimes it takes a little while, but uh, it's getting there. Do you remember the first time you made madun? Oh, or one, uh, of the first uh, one of the first time I was a little girl when my grandmother was doing it. I made it with her. It was so much fun to work with my grandmother and watch her work anyway. She always did her things very simply, very plain, and very uh, naturally. See, uh, here now it's coming to a full boil, so we will turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. And then we will empty it in a bowl with a lid. We have to let it cool um, so that it comes to a certain temperature that we will be able to make the, the yogurt. And that uh, cooling period will take about 25 to 30 minutes. Now that we emptied it in a bowl, we're going to let it cool uh, until it comes to a temperature between um, 110 to 120 degrees. Uh, in the olden days, the way my grandmother used to measure that would put her little finger in and count to 10 and see if it is comfortable, then the temperature is right, and he would put, she would put the yogurt. But now that we have dairy uh, thermometers, we can use that, so the temperature shouldn't be warmer than 120 and not colder than 110. So anything in between is ready to be made yogurt. So now it will, we will wait about 30 minutes until it comes to the proper uh, temperature. It has come to temperature, so we will measure it first, put my finger in it and count to 10 and see if it's comfortable. And then we will temper the magart so what we need to do is take a little bit of the milk and put it on it, about two to three tablespoons. Blend it in with the milk so that it gets a consistency. We're going to take the, uh, the magart and Mix it in with the milk. So we will stir it in all completely. And we will cover it with the lid. and keep it in a warm place, away from draft. For how long? 
for about four to six hours, but preferably overnight. So after six hours of or overnight, uh, leaving it overnight, we open it and put it in a fridge in the fridge to cool for about two hours until it is completely co cold. And when we open it, this will be, this is how the end product will be. Sometimes with, um, when you open it, there will be some liquid on top of it, but that's okay. You can either pick it up with a cheesecloth or with a paper towel. And then, so that when you start spooning it out, it doesn't become watery. What you have to do is put a, a spoon and stir it completely. Once this is stirred, then you can spoon and that way it will not become watery. So now we're gonna have to taste it. Who's gonna be our tester? Do you want to be our tester or Christine? I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> when you taste ho homemade yogurt, you will see that it is different from commercial yogurt uh, because this is pure milk and madzun, so there's no other ingredients in it. Okay. There you go. It's like almost like a thick, thick. tzatziki. Like a pudding. <laughs> Very nice. Anusha <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Thank you. Welcome to Learn the Dish. My name is Miran. My name is Ani. My name is Silva. The best way to get to know a people is through their food. Today I'm going to show you how to make tabule. I'm going to show you how to make mante. One of our specialties here is, uh, is Armenian coffee. We're building a community to share the traditional dishes just like your grandma used to make. Everybody would come and ask me for mante. Always super proud to serve here. Come with us. Share your recipes too. And maybe learn the dish. Maria Horjak. Enjoy.